Hello, my name is Joel Z. Williams. I am the Poor People's Advocate. Today, the purpose of this lecture is I'm going to teach you uh, a couple of new tactics and techniques to determine how old the infestation is within your dwelling. I've gotten a lot of emails, a lot of contact from people who are saying that they've just recently been bitten or they may have found an insect that uh, looks like a bed, a bed bug and they have some kind of welts or other abrasions to their skin. Um, forensic entomologists have known for years that the blowfly, for example, um, I think it, it, the Latin term is Califoridae, uh, will is able to detect a decomposing body from about a mile away so uh, they can determine the death of a person found in a field or, or in a car somewhere uh, largely by the size of the maggots and the, and the uh, other larva that, that is found within the decomposing body. Um, typically they will find, the, the blowfly will find those um, cadaverous uh, uh, people within two hours. So. What I try to tell people who discover a bed bug within their dwelling, don't kill it. I know that the initial inclination is you want to take your shoe and just crush it, but keep it. Put it in a bottle, put it in something plastic, a glass container, and try to figure out at what stage of the life cycle that particular insect is at. Bed bugs have six distinct life cycles, each one requiring a blood meal. So if you can capture a bed bug, for example, in the first stage of their, of their molt, you can backtrack and you can try to determine how old your infestation is within your dwelling. So if you find a very um, large blood engorged adult bed bug, uh, you know, somewhere in your apartment and you put it in a glass jar and you're able to look at it, you're going to know that this bed bug has been around for at least five other molts. That meaning the infestation within your apartment is at an advanced stage. If you're able to find a bed bug that is still within the first or second blood molt, then you know definitively that you have, you're on top of it, that you you have identify this bug at the beginning stages of the infestation. There's a lot more that you can do to prevent uh, a full, uh, you know, full-blown infestation. So what, I, what I'm hearing on, on the website, when, in the comments, in the videos, is people are, are killing these bed bugs for the first time that they see them. Don't do that. Capture them, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a, a plastic container, put them in a glass bottle. If you can, you know, get a visual representation of how big they are, we can literally put a ruler to, to them and figure out how old they are. And we can backtrack and see how bad that infestation is. Another thing I'm hearing a lot about is harborages. A lot of people don't understand the concept of harborage. Bed bugs are essentially blind. They, they move around mostly by detecting pheromones, meaning they are going to smell and sense the bed bug that's in front of them. That's why when you see bed bug tracks on your, on your bed or your mattresses, they're typically in a vertical line. They, much like bees and, and other insects, they have made that trade-off for, for uh, visual receptors for smell. So, you know, this concept that you will somehow not understand where the bed bugs are in your apartment, you're going to find them. They're going to be located in a central harborage. They're going to be basically in a hive mentality 
on top of each other at the bottom of your back box spring uh, box spring mattress usually within three yards of the host which is you so anywhere that you sit down and spend a lot of time a couch for example anywhere you lay your head down and go to sleep a bed they are going to group around there because they can't really see that well they have to depend on someone else blazing the trail laying down the pheromones and they have to follow that like a, a it's known as a feeding train so this this idea that oh i have bed bugs but i don't know where they are if you don't know where they are you haven't investigated enough you need to get down on your hands and knees with a flashlight and figure out where the hive is where the harborage is where where they are grouping together they're mating they're laying insects or, or uh, more uh, eggs you have to figure that out if you don't identify and locate the harborage there's no way that you can number one apply bleach water to them the the first step the the phoenix method there's no way you're going to be able to do that and if you don't identify the harborage there's no way that you can put your traps and lures the missouri method there's no way that you can put them near there hello this is joel z oh hey what's up man